Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to be here today representing Insurance Australia Group. And for those of you who don't know, IAG is one of the largest general insurers in Australia, but we also have significant operations in New Zealand, uh, throughout parts of Asia and in the UK. So IAG first joined the United Nations Environment Program in 2003 as part of the finance initiative. And our reasons for joining at the time were that as a company, we had a very strong focus in our home market of trying to achieve a more tangible link between sort of the environmental and societal issues with business performance. And one of both the um, good and bad things about Australia, it's, it's at the other end of the world, which is great, because we like it that way sometimes. But at other times, you can feel quite isolated. And so it was important for us when we were going through this program to try and reach out and uh, work with, with others who were doing similar things. At the time, our business strategy was absolutely guided by implementing positive initiatives that had outcomes for customers, the community, as well as our shareholders, so those three stakeholders. So joining UNEPFI at the time was a clear public statement to IEG shareholders and our stakeholders that we were serious about this and that we wanted to take a leading position on these issues. We had been entering into a range of partnerships with government, academic institutions, and community groups in Australia to put in programs that helped managing risk, both in our business and in the community. And joining UNEPFI was a valuable opportunity for us to work with others and share these insights. Now, a number of the insurance members of UNEPFI at the time proposed that a general insurance working group be established. The official launch took place in 2006. And at that point in time, um, we were very pleased that IAG became a co-chair of that working group with AXA. And we remained a co-chair until around 2008. Now, in the fact that the two chairs um, were at opposite ends of the world, had some logistic challenges in terms of the number of meetings that we had, but it was actually symbolic as well of the global, the global nature of what we were trying to achieve in this task. The objectives of the working group were really threefold. Firstly, to raise awareness on some of the current and emerging issues around sustainability, to promote, promote best practice management of environment, social and governance issues, and to really give public emphasis to, to the role that the insurance industry played in driving the sustainable future. This led in 2007 to the working group producing its first report, which was titled Insuring for Sustainability. It was produced in the context that the industry was facing a large number of challenges with the rapidly changing risk landscape, not just but from um, climate and environmental issues, but across the full spectrum of sustainability. The working group pulled together what leading players were doing in addressing some of these global sustainability issues. From the outset, the objective of the report was not to provide simple solutions or an academic treatise, but rather to kind of share knowledge and get some deeper understanding of what sat underneath these issues. Reading it today, it's interesting that many of the multiple case studies that were prepared at that time were of a very strong kind of practical nature that still are relevant in 2012. So IEG has continued its involvement and is delighted now, today, to be a founding signatory of the principles for sustainable insurance. The principles are wholly consistent with our corporate objective and IAG's approach to proactively managing risk across the broad spectrum 
of the insurance landscape. Thank you.